Well, hello, this is Sir Stillwater. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the next of the Iron Age great buildings, and that is the Colosseum. So you'll notice if you look around my city, you will not see a Colosseum, and I'll explain why in just a moment. But first, I do want to show you something over here. I have my Tower of Babel, my Bronze Age building, which I still have around, even though I've got 30-some other great buildings here. I'll go ahead and collect that. There's 13 industrial goods just for production. I have no production buildings from my age, but that's another story. Let's jump over and talk about the Colosseum. Okay, so I've jumped on over here to Fandom. Uh, this is forge, forgeofempires.fandom.com. And this is the wiki. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Colosseum. Colosseum being the, uh, the Roman Colosseum, the Colosseum in Rome. And it produces metals every 24 hours and a little bit of happiness. So I well, guess a lot of happiness, I guess, technically, cause, because uh, that's what it's really good for is for the happiness side. But it comes at a big cost in 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 real estate. So let's talk about that. So the reason I don't have a Coliseum in any of my worlds, nor have I in many, 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 many years, is that the cost for the square footage for this thing is really steep and the reward really isn't worth it. At that point, you have other happiness factors coming in. Uh, it's You're going to have cheap happiness in, in culture buildings, and you're also going to have happiness coming from other great buildings. So the advantage of that happiness really doesn't justify a six by seven footprint, in my opinion. Other people may have different opinions. I have that one world that I just showed is where I'm working to acquire all the great buildings there are in the game. I will eventually be placing my Coliseum amongst a couple others that are my last, last to pick up uh, for various reasons. So let's talk about the cost. Um, of course, these are my opinion. Everybody has their own way to approach it. This is just my two cents. So... Okay, first off, it's an Iron Age like we talked about. The construction cost is 80 limestone, 60 ebony, 70 iron, 50 cloth, and 40 jewelry. And then the size, again, is a 6 by 7 That's huge. It's huge. Um, a road is required, obviously. And the production bonuses are going to be metals and happiness. In the early days of Forge of Empires, back when when I first started playing, back before we, before we had many of the features that are in the game today, um, metals were really scarce. And you used to get metals from um, the PvP towers if you ranked each week. And you would get them occasionally from um, some quests and some, you know, some of the, the storylines and things like that. But they were pretty rare. And, it, you know, some metals... They add it up, and that's how you used to unlock levels in the early days. Um, nowadays, you, metals are everywhere. You trip over them, and you know, really, and and you need big money. Once you get to a certain point, you need you need big big quantities of metals in order to do an unlock. Uh, so, uh, picking up ten here or ten there. If you're level ten, you're getting thirty five a day. That's three fifty a week. That's that's nothing. I mean, if you if you sit in any paying position on basically anything, you'll beat thirty five a day. Um, if you're contributing on great buildings. But this, again, my opinion. Um, the happiness is decent, especially in the earlier years. Uh, so, But you're giving up a lot of real estate for that happiness. You can do a lot of things uh, for that 6x7. So at level 10, you're only getting 4,000 happiness, as an example. Um, here it shows you your happiness efficiency per square. It's like, it's pretty steep. So, Okay, so that's that's calcium. Uh, in a nutshell, I don't have too much to say about it. Not one of my favorite buildings. I will build it eventually when I need to. Um, but it's kind of cool looking, though. You know, with all the little flagpoles around the, the top and the tiers and all that stuff. So down here, arc profitability. We're not going to go into that. But, oh, well, that's all i got to say about the Coliseum. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Other great buildings coming. Um, so I'm working my way through the Euros. Any comments or suggestions or questions or whatever, please leave them below. Thanks. Bye.